My friend Sean is moving away tomorrow, and I want to give him a good send-off. He's a drummer, he's a musician, so I want to make him some custom drumsticks. Uh, and drumsticks are normally made out of maple or hickory, mainly because, pretty much because, they're hardwoods and they're very durable. But I want to make them a set of drumsticks out of ironwood. I picked out a piece right here. This piece is kind of rotted and cracked and otherwise, and otherwise um, would have to be cast and stabilized. And I'd rather make them a pair of drumsticks. So I'm going to take this face right here, I'm going to cut a 5 8 inch off, 5 8 a 5 8 inch strip, and then square those up on the table saw. And then we're going to turn them on the lathe and finish them with probably like a friction polish, something, something uh, light. Um, now I know that iron was really brittle, uh, brittle and hard, meaning that if he really pounded on them, I think he'd break them pretty, pretty quickly. So these are going to be kind of a kind of a show drumstick, or for light work. I hope for light work, maybe for some jazz or something. He's, he's he he knows his stuff. The size of the drumstick will be 16 inch long and half an inch in diameter uh, at its most with a long taper towards the nose. Um, I believe that's what it's called. I just looked at this now. Uh, anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take five inch, five eighths of an inch off of this, square it up, go to the lathe, turn it, um, finish it, and that should be it. So uh, enjoy this video and yeah, enjoy the video, please. Looking back on editing on this project, I started out so optimistic. Uh, I, I, I really didn't think it would, it would be anything more than uh, you know, turning a couple sticks, but I, I really hadn't had no idea what I was in store for. Um, you know, I, I, I've turned ironwood before. Ironwood does not turn easy. It is extremely brittle. It's hard. You have to sharpen your tools often. Uh, it's terrible to get on your skin or on your or in your lungs which is why I'm wearing a respirator the entire time um, and it, it, it also irritates your your skin when you get it on um, you know, I, I, I'm not super uh, I'm, I'm not super allergic to it but uh, you know, I, I get a slight irritation from it um, The main problem that I had with turning these ironwood sticks was the fact that they were so they were so thin that every time I pressed the tool in to cut, the stick would flex away from the tool, making it so the tool wouldn't, wouldn't actually cut. It would just deflect. Um, and because of this, I, I, I ended up turning ironwood sticks for about two and a half hours. The first part, the first real main difficulty was turning them around because I didn't, you know, I, I, I first I tried the uh, spindle gouge and I found that it didn't really cut at all and I tried a, uh, like a scraper to, to round the edges off gently and that, that didn't work and I was too afraid to try an actual roughing gouge, um, mostly because I was afraid of the piece just exploding in my in my hands, which which later part of it did. Uh, I did glue it back on, but it all worked out in the end. Um, then uh, I found pretty quickly that bowl gouge works best for uh, doing a rough turn because. 
just because a gouge works well um, on square stock. And then after I turned it around, I would use uh, the skew chisels in order to um, make the taper and, and cut it pretty, pretty uh, close to where it should be. Um, one problem I did have with the skew chisel was that as soon as I turned it around, just as after I started cutting, when I turned around, I would I would go to cut in with the skew chisel, and it would flex so it would cut on half the turn, and then deflect on the other half. So I was so I was I kind of ended up with uh, with an oval shaped with an oval shape, which it didn't work. Sandpaper, however, really low grit, so 60 grit, um, worked worked wonders on this because. The, the sticks didn't end up flexing away with sandpaper as it did with uh, with actual tools. Uh, I had a small gap in the first stick, uh, a rotted gap that I just filled with super glue. Uh, it's Gorilla Cyanoacrylate glue, glue excuse me. Uh, and I got some ebony dust and put it on my hand and just turned it in my hand. The learning curve for these sticks was incredible because you know I, I, I love turning bowls and plates and cups and and pens even and that's that's all a blast but as you can see it flexes at least an eighth of an inch when, when I when I'm actually cutting it um, uh, then I finish it with friction uh, friction polish which is, which is shellac boiled linseed oil and denatured alcohol um, before that I I go to steel wool, which buffs it up really nice. I believe it's a uh, quadruple zero, 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 zero steel wool, the finest stuff I have. And I cut off and I part it with a, with a, uh, pulse, a uh, pull cut saw. Um, this next piece, you know, I mean, you already saw me turn it and I was, I was running out of memory on my, on my uh, chip. I must have taken 10 gigabytes of space turning this because I, you know, I turned for about two or three hours almost. Um, so the next piece, the next stick I only uh, took about I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 minutes of footage because I was just, I was tired and I was just honestly ready to get, ready for it to be done. Um, so I just, I, I kind of, I just edited out the highlights, which I mean, you already know what, it, what the highlights are, you know, it's rough to her, uh, Turning around, turning the taper, turning the nose, and and uh, finishing and sanding. Skews ended up being just about the best tool for this job, um, in my opinion. So I kept them sharp, had to sharpen them every maybe five or ten minutes because iron was hard. And there, there I am uh, applying friction polish, which is my new favorite polish for turning for for wood. That concludes a little time lapse. I had no idea what I was getting what I was getting into. I'm very happy with how they turned out. Uh, they feel great in my hands, and you know, friction polish never really um, it doesn't it doesn't disappoint in the end. I'll be giving these to Sean tonight, and um, and I'm sure he'll love these because I do. But uh, anyway, if you like this video, go and give it a like and a subscribe. Sub subscription and uh, comment if you like these if you didn't like them um, what you'd like to see or what you would not like to see um, yeah thanks for watching catch you on the next episode